What's up guys, welcome to our channel. So today is Chile's Independence Day, 18th of September. So we're gonna make empanadas chilenas. Uh, very authentic, anywhere you go in Chile you're gonna find these. They're called empanadas de pino. First we're gonna do the filling and then we'll work on, uh, on the dough for the empanada center. So let's get started. Add a little bit of oil to your pan. Careful, it's hot, okay? okay? I used a big pot because we're making what the serving calls for, but we're making double. So, what do we got here? Onion. Onion, okay. Can you put a little bit of onion in there? Let's see? Wow. We dropped a little bit. Okay. Is Parker gonna help me with the rest? See? Let's put the rest of the onion in there. Whoa! Onion. That's a lot of onion. <laughs> so, like I said, we did double the serving. We did four pounds of onion for our serving. So basically, if you wanted the one serving, I'm gonna put what we did on the video. Just cut that in half. Um, and we're gonna add some seasonings to it, and then we're gonna let that cook for 30 minutes. Cumin. Okay. This is ground cumin. Turn it. Good job. Okay, Parker's turn. Right. We got paprika. Whoa. Okay. And then salt. Uh, I'm only going to do about half of it for now. And then we'll do the other half later. And then we got oregano. This is the last thing we're going to put in there. So put it in our hands. You want to help me? Okay. Let me see Parker first. Open your hand. Like this. Okay, put your other hand on top. On top? Put your other hand? And go like this. You gotta go like this. You gotta go like this. You're gonna break it. You see? You're gonna break it. Okay, Puck's turn. Ready? Put your hand out. Okay, now put your other hand on top. And go up here and go like this. Yeah, we just kind of crushed our uh, our oregano there. So like I said, we're gonna let this cook for about 30 minutes, uh, and then we're just gonna come back to it afterwards. But the onions will be all caramelized. You'll see uh, once it's done. What are you mixing? Onion. Let them kind of interact with us in the kitchen and be a part of it so they learn and they like to help also but really for the most part we're just going to kind of have this at medium heat once it kind of picks up the heat a little bit we'll set it to medium and we'll touch it very little like we'll just give it a mix here and there but for the most part we're just going to leave it alone Our onion is ready, it's finished cooking. This is basically what you're gonna end up with. Real nice and caramelized, as you can see. About 30 minutes is what it took. Just occasional stirring. I left it on a medium heat. All right, and now that that's ready, we're gonna add the meat to that. So we got our, our meat here. It's just a uh, diced. Uh, small pieces and we'll add that in there 
We're gonna put a little bit of water and then we're gonna let that cook for about half an hour. So we got about four pounds of flour here. It's two kilos. Um, we're gonna get ready to make the dough for the for the empanadas. So we got two eggs that will go in there. One egg. One egg. we've made this careful okay go every time we've made this we always uh just substitute more water for the wine if you have an issue with uh alcohol like we don't drink uh it burns off so it's all good don't worry about feeding it to the kiddos or anything uh, so we're gonna give this a little mix we got our wine we got our eggs and we got some salt just a little mix just to incorporate everything first. We want to get it everything in there real good. Oh be careful. And now we got water. So this water is uh, it's basically boiling or not boiling but it's hot. Uh, that's basically what we need. And we're gonna put manteca in here as well. Alright, so we got our water in here. And now we got our manteca. So, our lard in English. Uh, but it's melted. It's turned yellow! It turned yellow. Now we're gonna mix this inside the bowl first. Once we get everything pretty much incorporated, then we'll take it out of the bowl and just uh, start kneading it by hand. smell all right so our meat's done took it out of the pot uh this is basically what it's gonna look like um, ideally you would like to make this the day before you make the empanadas because you want to leave it in the fridge and let it get cool um so that's why we put it in this big tray 
just to kind of give it room to cool off. And then I'm probably going to throw it inside the fridge later, or the freezer, just to let it cool a little bit. Uh, we'll kind of speed that process up. Uh, so yeah, so this is what we call pino. It's our meat and our onions with all the seasonings we put in there. So basically you start off with your uh, dough. I, with the one serving, you should make about 17, 18 empanadas. We did double serving, so I'm gonna guess we get anywhere from 30 to 40. I cut them all up already and we got, I believe, 32. So we'll end up with some pieces later to make a little extra. We'll probably end up with about 35, 36 minutes. First, we're just gonna do it with the hands. Kind of make a, a circle with our hands. Daddy, pressing the back Daddy, and the front, Daddy, just making a circle. Daddy, yes. Make a yeah, okay. And this uh, this dough does not need to be rested. It's you make it and it's good to go. It's ready. Look at this. It's not sticking. Nothing. Okay. So then we're gonna take a rolling pin. And I can already tell this is already gonna be big. We're gonna have some extra dough left on this. So yeah, we're probably gonna make closer to 40 empanadas. Don't worry about them being exact, uh, perfect roundness, all of that. Uh, one, this is rustic, and two, we're gonna correct it. Take a knife, a plate, could be round, it could be flat, not a big deal. And then we're just gonna cut around the plate and give us that perfect roundness. We got our meat ready, our pino. We got our dough for our empanadas ready. We also did hard boiled eggs, which is very traditional in this type of empanada. And I cut them in quarters, so I cut them in half, and then another half. And we have an egg wash over here that's gonna help seal up that empanada. The thing that we didn't do is these, like I said, they always have hard boiled egg, but they always put um, a raisin, um, and for sure an olive and we prefer without so we just never include that in here But if that's the way you like it throw an olive in there and you know raisin if you want 
So we're gonna start building these. Uh, I'm gonna get the oven turned up and we'll get it going. Chile! 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 Chile!